Good morning, everybody. It is 622, Wednesday, August 29th. Um, I had a couple of dreams last night. I can't... The, one kind of came back to me a little bit, and uh, I'll get right on to it, and then I got to read you guys something, okay? There's two of them. One of them was where uh, my brother owned a very successful business like I used to have, okay? And uh, they were... Uh, and he was wanting to hire me to put me to work. And they had these nets. Say you had to put them on your feet to walk in these rich, rich people's homes, you know. You had to be really careful. And they even wanted you to put nets on your hair, you know, so when you walked in their home, so no hair. And me, I had a beard. And they, I had to cover up everything. Anyhow, I started, I put on the, the little booty protection things on my feet and, uh, and I said, you know what? I don't want nothing to do with any of you people. I said, I just don't want nothing to do with you people. I said, you, know, you love this world. You love the things that are in it. I don't want nothing to do with it. And uh, then I started to leave. And then I noticed other people trying to pull me back in, trying to pull me back into the world in any way they possibly could. Uh, you know how the Bible it says, come out of her, my people, lest you suffer the wrath. Well, I was getting a ride from somebody that was going to take me someplace else. And then we were driving. All of a sudden, we're trying to miss these big potholes in the road. Then he'd swerve up someplace. And then all of a sudden, we're like on the sides of mountains, driving on the edges of cliffs the whole way. And it was like a circular thing. Almost like as if you'd be flushed down a toilet, you know, like a toilet. If you love these things in this world, man, you love your life here, you love everything about it, man. It's like as if you're going to be flushed down a toilet. You're going to go down with it like a ship. I told you that dream I had about the Titanic. It went down really quick and we had to get off of it before it went down. And that's the whole idea here, you guys. We have to get off of this ride. Get off of it. Um, this is what my dreams were showing me, man. And uh, everybody that was loving this life, loving this world, um, they're in trouble. That's why when I've been showing you guys this tour I'm going on, this archaeological thing where they're showing everything, you know. I'm walking around in this place here and I'm seeing the the same thing in America as I'm seeing here. I'm seeing people with patches of orange on their head, their hair. I'm seeing green, I'm seeing blue, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. I see it, I notice everything here, you guys. Um, this is the uh, strong delusion that everybody's under right now. And even on this tour, most people can't see um, they don't know that we are in the final moments of this life in this world. Try sharing with them. They're like, well, you just got to be ready. You know, that's how they look at it. But they're they're not they're not ready because they they don't see what time it is. They know that you have to be ready, but they don't know what ready is. Um, and this is what I was seeing last night, you guys. Um, in my dreams, it was like screaming out at me, telling me it's over here. I want to read James 4.4 4 for you. You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is a mitity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You guys, I don't know if any of you guys really watched that video I had um, yesterday, yesterday that I uploaded where I was showing like, the Star of David on this one fallen thing. Then right next to it, the pentagram. Listen, I've seen him spraying the pentagram up in the sky um, with the airplanes, those chemtrails that they've been doing, our government doing this stuff, okay? This is real, man. They've always, we. this is like a little bubble we're living in here, you guys. 
And and if you're loving what's going on in here, they're entertaining you with it. That's why I told you what I'm showing you. Don't be entertained by it. Know this. All these things are going to be dissolved with a feverent heat. Knowing that these places are going to be destroyed and dissolved and melted into the ground where you won't even know one thing existed. What manner of person should you be if you know that this place is going to be destroyed and wiped out? Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. You know, you can't be carnal and spiritual. You just can't do it. I'm going on this hike and stuff, you know, going around here looking at everything, and I see everything as if it's all gone and dead and destroyed, over, finished, because it is. There ain't one thing that's going to remain. There's one video I did of a church and took some photos of someone here. Um, they wanted some photos, and I took them. Let me tell you, not one of those things uh, lasted. It was all um, just gone. All of them were gone. And they were in my photos and just gone, just disappeared like I never took them, including the videos I took while I was there, just gone. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. What does that sound like? And he shall lift you up. Love not this world, nor the things that are in it. You can't serve two masters. You really can't. Advice to the rich. And I heard this too, the howling. I heard it howling, like howling. Go to, go to now, you rich men. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as if it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which you have kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabbath. You have lived in pleasure on the earth and have been wanton. You have nourished your hearts as in the day of slaughter. You have condemned and killed in the just, and he does not resist you. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth and has long patience for it. One second, you guys. Thank you. That was my wake-up call. <clears throat> Be also patient. Uh, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord. Draweth nigh. Grudge not one against another, brethren lest you be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth at the door. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and patience. Behold, we count them happy, which endure. You have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. And it goes out and tells you, don't take oaths. And we know who takes oaths, and that's your governments and stuff here. You know, all of them, they all take oaths. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. You know, and I heard somebody over there making jokes about, you know, what if this, this, or this happens, you know, and, you know, and if this happens, don't say nothing because otherwise it could dump on you a bird in the air might, you know, poop on you. And somebody on the bus goes, um, oh, you, you must have read that in Proverbs, you know, like the wisdom, you know, and it was all. And I'm like, you know, it's horrible. The things that you hear, it's just horrible. The jokes, the things, you know. That, that people are talking about because we're talking um, these people don't know what time it is if they knew what time it is they surely wouldn't be 
doing what they're doing and they would be changed, big time changed. This world, you guys, it's over. Like I said, when I seen that pillar with that um, Jewish emblem on it and then I seen that one right next to it, it looked just like a pentagram. You know, the Satan's been here running along right beside it all. You know, all these wars of wars, people fighting against people. It's been going on from the beginning. And what have they been doing? Trying to destroy their images, their signs, their everything that has to do with anything of worship. It's been going on from the beginning, man. It's horrible, you guys. All right, you guys, that's all I'm going to say. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord, Jesus Christ. And uh, I believe he is very, very close, you guys. And when I share these videos with you, I'm, I'm telling you to keep in mind all these things are going to be destroyed, every bit of it. You know, so I see the strong delusion over here. People aren't aware. They don't see what's coming no more than they do where we're back at in the country, in the States. And this is upon the whole world, everybody around everywhere, because here in Israel, you got people from all over. The tour bus that we're on, we got people from uh, um, Australia, I think Ireland, I ain't sure, Canada. Um, it's everywhere, you guys. It's everywhere, okay? Remember, all this is soon going to be destroyed, man, every bit of it. And I don't think we have long. God bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.